A'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You're welcome to another episode of Tech and Culture. Today we'll be looking at the story of an interesting organization that was established strategically to facilitate and coordinate the development and activities of Islamic organizations in the FCT. And that organization is the Abuja Muslim Forum. You see, in the early 90s, precisely 1990, the Abuja Muslim Forum was formed. As at that time, many of us were not in the, in the FCT. Abuja Muslim Forum served as the receiver for a lot of Muslims into the FCT. When Muslims arrived in the FCT, their settlement, settling into the community, you know, getting their guidance, getting a spiritual connection, making friends. Abuja Forum was the go-to place and they were located in the Central Mosque as at that time. So in this formative stage of the organizations, many of the leaders, the strategic leaders of the Muslim communities today were the young people that championed the Abuja Muslim, the likes of uh, Malaji Idris Usman, Sheikh Tajuddin Bello, Ambassador uh, Ismail Lalatishe, and a lot of people like that formed this host organization and foundation for the Islamic organizations in the FCT. That was done over the early stages, the first 10 years of the organization. By the second decade of the organization, many of the Muslims that come from outside Abuja start settling down, start forming their own organizations, and things start changing. The need and the purpose for the Abuja Muslim Forum was getting reduced and somehow the, the leaders at that time were struggling to get to define a mission, a relevance for it. Because you are talking about an organization that is like an organization of organizations. Now many of the organizations have found their feet and they are doing their thing. So it is really a time that a lot of inflection needed to be done. This was like the second period of the Abuja Muslim Forum. But in 2015, around 2015, 2016, these leaders of the organization, including people like Professor Taufik Abdullah Aziz, a prof in the University of Abuja, with these other leaders, sat down to restructure and revive the purpose of the Abuja Muslim Forum. Even though when it was formed, it was set to receive organizations, but there is a major need today to make it a voice, a center of unity, a center of coordination, a defender of Muslim rights within the FCT. Best, in my view, is for them to retain that restructuring activities, restructuring obligation, and coordinating activities of organizations by identifying their areas of strength and partnering with them in harmonizing that strength and consolidating on those activities so that uh, it will assist the woman generally. And that is the stage that the organization has been over the last few years. And currently there is a new set of technotracks, business leaders that are now in charge of the organization working to move it to serve that purpose. Not to be an organized organization, but to be an organization of organizations. An organization that coordinates the activities of Muslims within the Ummah, speak for the Muslims within the Ummah, ensure that the economic interests and everything of the Muslims are protected and coordinated within the FCT. Let me at this junction make it clear that the vision and mission of Abuja Muslim Forum at its inception is noble and I and my appointed colleagues in the new executive council shall humbly continue with the same vision and mission. However, times are changing, situations are different, and circumstances of today is not the same with that of 1991 when the organization was set up as first of its kind in Abuja. Indeed, Abuja itself is not what it was 32 years ago. We therefore have to put on thinking cap, consult widely, strategize very well, and come up with ways of approaching dawah and Islamic activities for the benefit of Umar. A few weeks ago, they had a strategic session where the vision and the ideas of the organization 
were presented. Mm -hmm. Dr. Abdul Salam is a strategic planner and a policy analyst developed some of the strategies and, you know, gave a sense of direction of what the Abuja Muslim Forum should stand for and how they can go ahead to achieve it. Demographics of Abuja community is such that we are Muslim, Muslim civil servants, petty traders, artisans, laborers, and private practitioners, and other people. Now, this demography will give us an idea of the challenge side of the problem we want to solve. What vision we, are we thinking about for the AMF? We will think that in the next 10, before the, within the next 10 years plan, we should try to make AMF a household name, where everybody recognizes that AMF is working for their interest. AMF care for their interest. I mean, you might belong to any organization, but know that if you have any challenge, AMF will be there out for you, for the Muslim community in Abuja. And we have to also be an effective Muslim voice. If there are issues at stake, AMF should be, be to lead in raising um, awareness and making statements. His strategy included ways to finance it, ways to sustain it, to track progress and ensure that there is buy-in and there is collectiveness in the, within the Muslims in the FCT. I pray to Allah to make it easy for the Abuja Muslim Forum to achieve its purpose of providing development and growth for the Muslim community within the FCT. That will be the package for today. My name is Jibril Ibrahim and I say, Ma Salam. A technically faulty